Hello everyone, welcome back to the Goblin Lair. Today we have six more RTS games you should watch out for. Now these ones are not so known yet, but I think they deserve all of the recognition. Uh, for now they look really, really good. So yeah, let's keep an eye on them. And just a quick note, there is a giveaway for V Rising key in this video. All of the information you need to know are in the pinned comment. And now let's jump right into the video. Really quickly, if you are subscribed, thank you for that. If you are not yet subscribed, click the button join the goblin tribe so you don't miss out on anything. First up today we have Aposius, which offers a realm of exploration and strategic depth. The grand scale of the maps encourages a sense of adventure and discovery, inviting players to not just engage in battles, but also to expand and explore. Now this one promises that you will be able to control or command up to 10,000 units. It should be a blend of expansive landscapes and vast armies offering a deeply immersive RTS experience. Now of course everything you see on the screen is very very early development. Uh, this is subject to change but as of now things are looking very very good. And they are also planning to launch a Kickstarter. I will leave the link in the description so when it does launch you can go and uh, donate if you like the game. Um, you will be playing as dwarves. They do plan maybe to add some new factions later on to the DLC, but as of now, the dwarves are the only faction. They will be single and multiplayer, but you will be able to command different generals. So as of now, three generals are known and they all play differently so you can think uh, of them a little bit like factions so basically you have dwarves but within the dwarves we have three different generals three different play styles and they are promising huge huge battles on the scale that we didn't see before so i'll keep an eye on this one there will be much more news in the future about this game so be sure to check the videos out when they come out. Aposius, coming soon. Next up is Modular. Now, do you like Zergs? Well, because if you do, then this is the game exactly for you. In this game, you are taking control of the Modu, which are native to the planet of Arcadia, where the story is taking place. It's an untamed paradise, and they live there peacefully for millennia, changing and adapting their modular bodies to suit their needs. Now, what are the futures of this one? Customizable units. You can grow your module, which is a base unit that can split and merge, depending on your strategic needs and personal preferences. So, you can actually decide your playstyle with this. You can grow organs on your module, which then, of course, do the respective things. For example, liver are regeneration, uh, eyes are better uh, LOS and so on. The brain offer much much other options to you. So this is very interesting. You have one base unit and you have to take care of it. You have to merge, you have to split, you have to watch out that the base unit doesn't die. This is the ultimate Zerg experience. What else do we have here? Well, grow weaponized organs or biological power-ups to unlock dozens of unique combinations. Meaning we can play as we want to. We can decide how to play. Now for the end we will look at the windscreen which is out right now. This is also very early development so we'll have to wait for uh, the full game to come out. So this is the windscreen. You get how much you build, how much the enemy build, how much you lost and how much they lost. There's a little score there and you get a little cup. Well, I would like a bigger cup maybe, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, this was in arena mode. Of course, there will be much, much more modes than just one. You will be able to play in multiplayer, two to four players. You will be able to play in campaign. And of course, this arena mode right here seems pretty, pretty good too. So Modular is another one we're keeping an eye on. Continuing on, we have Armored Brigade 2. Now, the first game was very, very well received. It is one of the highest rated war games out there and even today it is worth a try. So if you want a little bit of a preview, do try that one out. Now this one, Armored Brigade 2, will be in 3D. 
As it states, Armor Brigade 2 tries to revolutionize real-time tactical warfare focusing on intense combined arms combat of the Cold War era from 1965 to 1991, boasting a meticulously researched database and huge real-world terrain maps. This game offers an unparalleled combat simulation experience. This is what they say in their statement and I do tend to believe them because this is a good development team. Uh, the Verica Studios, they are pretty good. Uh, their first game was, you know, hitting all of the right things for a war game that it has to and they seem to know what they're doing. Now, of course, again, this is uh, a very early development footage right here so we will have to wait for a bit more but look at all those realistic tanks and we have cold war which is also one of the best eras for that right after the world war ii when tensions were high so we get a little bit of insight what would happen if the humanity was a little bit more reckless than uh, it was back then because uh, we were on the brink of nuclear warfare but uh, lucky for us this is only with uh, vehicles and infantry so uh, i don't think there's any nukes in this one but it does look good for this early development i do trust the development team because they did make a game that almost everyone universally enjoyed and i will be keeping eye on this one too armor brigade 2 coming soon next up on the list we have infinity war now this is done by a solo developer and the first thing that will come into your eye is the graphics this is a low poly strategy game there's no much of those so you know what i like it i like the low poly aspect of this one and what does the developer say infinity war will be well it is a real-time tactics game designed from ground up to be infinitely replayable each battle takes place on a uniquely generated map with a variety of objectives win conditions and non-binary outcomes so this one seems like it will offer a lot of replayability which is a pretty big ask for an indie developed rts game especially for a, for a solo developer now this footage that you see right now this is the progress that the developer made in the last months even years so you can go check it out i leave the link in the description to his channel so you can check all of the devlogs uh, that he posted it looks very good i will be keeping an eye on this one too there is not a lot of low poly strategy games this one will be only single player but uh, with the replayability that it will offer i think this also will be worth playing infinity war also coming soon next up we have a blight now this one took me by surprise this is the only trailer out right now but this game looks amazing there will be three faction that we know of there is Plagued, Inquisition and Guardians and this one looks like it will offer some awesome 1v1 battles which is something I like a lot. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on this one too as it develops because wow the graphics and everything that is in this game as of now it looks amazing. It looks like something any RTS player will enjoy. I also like the fact that the resources on the map will be scattered all across so there's no predetermined ones like in something in like in uh, Immortal Gates of Pyre or Starcraft. They will be all over the map so you will not have to fight for the spots uh, and the resources that you gather will be stored locally so you will not need to build any citadels or anything like that. This one has no heroes which is good because you know what, not any RTS needs heroes, everyone has the heroes, this one has just units, you go against each other just with your units, I can't wait for more information on this one, it looks so good and I want it yesterday, but let's let the developers do their thing. And closing out today's video is Battlefield Commander World War 2, this is a tactical game, realistic, set in World War 2 will have three modes which is battle gain victory points by destroying enemy units capture gain victory by controlling the most strategic areas at the end of the battle and assault attacker attempts to capture the defender tries to defend we'll have destructible buildings we'll have los we'll have limited ammo and morale the infantry can be suppressed 
there's a lot of things in here along with single player and multiplayer aspect of the game. This is a very small studio developing it. It looks amazing already. I can't wait for more. Keep an eye on this one too. So these were six more RTS games we need to look out for. I will feature them all on this channel, of course. So do subscribe, comment down below what you think about these games, participate in the key giveaway. Who knows, you might win V-Rising. Until next time, Goblin out. Bye.